Do you know why we should learn conjunctions? Continuously using simple sentences in our speech or writing doesn't sound pleasant. To connect broader concepts and ideas in sentences and to make mesmerizing and exciting communications in society, we should learn conjunctions. Here is the detailed video on conjunctions. Please see this without skipping. Conjunction is a word that joins words, phrases or clauses. Let's see an example in each case. Raju and Krishna are friends. Here the two words that are connected are Raju and Krishna. And they are equally ranked words. Both are nouns. He likes exercising on the mat and relaxing on the lawn. Here, two phrases of equal rank are, exercising on the mat and relaxing on the lawn. These phrases are connected by the conjunction, and. The child didn't do homework, yet his mother gave him chocolates. In this case, the conjunction yet had joined two clauses. By now, you have seen how conjunction can link two or more equal status words, phrases, and clauses and help the formation of a sentence in English. Now we will proceed with the types of conjunctions. Primarily, there are four types of conjunctions, namely, coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, conjunctive adverbs, and subordinating conjunctions. First, let us see what coordinating conjunctions do. Coordinating means balancing. The conjunctions that join equally ranked words, phrases, or clauses are coordinating conjunctions. Equally ranked means having equal syntactical importance. Complete coordinating conjunctions are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. The acronym FANBOYS is the best way of remembering these seven coordinating conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions there is not much difference between coordinating conjunctions and correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are sets of words we always use in duos. They are also called paired conjunctions. Examples, her preference is for jewelry rather than clothing. Here, rather than, is correlative conjunction. This car is not only large but also attractive. Not only but also, is a paired conjunction in this example. The most commonly used correlative conjunctions are on the screen now. So that, both and, hardly when, as is, not but, the more the more, neither nor, either or, no sooner than, scarcely when, such that, just as so, etc. Conjunctive adverbs. Conjunctive adverbs join two independent clauses, whereas coordinating conjunctions can join words, phrases or clauses. One more important feature of conjunctive adverbs is they begin with independent clauses. Examples of conjunctive adverbs. He bought a new car. However, it was not up to the mark. He didn't complete his homework. Instead, he went to play cricket. Other conjunctive adverbs. Otherwise, now, furthermore, next, conversely, also, incidentally, anyway, thereafter, equally, thus, accordingly, still, finally, rather, undoubtedly, nonetheless, therefore, meanwhile, namely, in comparison, then, comparatively, additionally, similarly, certainly, indeed, in addition, subsequently, regardless, consequently, elsewhere, henceforth, moreover, likewise, hence, further, nevertheless, in contrast, besides, surprisingly, still, and fact, and so on. Now, the mystery of success is here. If you are genuinely interested in learning English, make a habit of forming sentences using conjunctive adverbs in your daily routine and practice, and see the difference in your English language. Subordinating conjunctions Subordinating conjunctions introduce subordinating clauses. The subordinating clause means the dependent clause. The clause that depends on other clause for its complete meaning is dependent clause. Please note, an independent clause is a complete thought that contains a subject and a verb, whereas a dependent clause often has a verb and subject but is not a complete thought. It depends on some other clause for complete meaning. The words or phrases that introduce dependent clauses are subordinating conjunctions. Let's see this. Because the climate is too frigid. This clause doesn't make complete sense. Some additional information is required to make it meaningful. If I say, I don't go for walk because the climate is too frigid. It makes a complete sentence. Here because is a subordinating conjunction. There are many such words or phrases which function as subordinating conjunctions. These are the most common subordinating conjunctions in English. After, whenever, that, because, in case, as though, rather, if, till, 
just as, while, so that, as long as, as soon as, before, even, where, since, now that, provided, then, even if, unless, until, though, wherever, whereas, in order, as, although, when, once, whether, still, even though, etc. Did you enjoy the learning? If so, please hit the like and subscribe button and leave your comments below. See you in the upcoming video soon. Thanks for watching.